good morning today's topic is relationship of the dft to the other transforms so here dft is the discrete fourier transform which is a very powerful and important tool to compute the frequency spectrum of the given sequence for the frequency analysis of the signal this is very very important here of course we have the other frequency analysis tools so here how can you relate this other frequency analysis tools with the dft tool now we will see that one so see the definition dft of x of n is nothing but x of k that is equal to summation 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi by n k n where k is in between 0 to n minus 1. Similarly, IDFT of x of k is x of n that is equal to 1 by n summation k 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power j 2 pi by n k n. So, k here firstly observe how this DFT tool relates to the other transforms right so firstly just take the that other transform as four year series transform that means here take the dfs that is discrete four year series then compare that dfs to this dft so now see this relationship to the four year series coefficients four year series coefficients of a periodic sequence So, okay, here uh, firstly observe the Fourier series representation of the periodic discrete time signal. So, now here see this a periodic sequence consider that one as xp of n with fundamental period with fundamental period what is that capital N then uh, so here uh, how can you represent this particular periodic sequence with fundamental period N in terms of uh, what is that Fourier series representation okay so now so this one n can be represented in a four year series of the form of the form xp of n is equal to summation k 0 to n minus 1 c k e power j 2 pi k n by n 
here n range is what is that minus infinity to infinity so this is the one here the uh, Fourier series representation of the periodic sequence xp of n with the fundamental period n is nothing but this is the formula so now here what is the ck here Fourier series coefficient Fourier series coefficient so here take what is the ck equation so here what is the ck here for a series coefficient by using the formula 1 by n here take uh, xp of n here n is uh, minus infinity to infinity here e power minus j 2 pi n k by n here k range is 0 to n minus 1 ok so now in this way you can find out the ck value so now let it be this one is second equation and this is the first equation so now basically we have the two equations one for d of t and then one i d of t so how can you compare how can you relate these two ok we will see if you see this, uh, what is that uh, here? First A equation and then this 2 equation. So almost these two are equal but here n range is minus infinity to infinity. Here n range is 0 to n minus 1. And then in the place of uh, here CK, here is a CK uh, but here is a X of K. Right, so that means here there is no multiplier here, but here is a 1 by n. Right, so now, so if you compare this one with the a, so I am writing here a equation that means the d of t definition d of t of uh, x of n. What is that? x of k is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by n right now here so if you compare these two here right so if x of n is equal to xp of n but here you should consider only the 0 to n minus 1 range xp of n that is a periodic sequence but you should take only one period right one period that means the n number of samples now take 0 to n minus 1 range then that is here assume like x of n and also n into ck n into ck is x of k n into ck is x of k so then here then here you can relate this d of t of x of n to the Fourier series coefficients right like this that means under the condition that means the periodic sequence is there take only 0 to n minus 1 samples that is nothing but here the given sequence x of n now d of t of x of n is nothing but x of k this can be calculated based on the Fourier series coefficients so like here ck is nothing but Fourier series coefficient from this particular formula equation 2 for the given periodic sequence you can evaluate the ck if you just multiply the ck to this n then you can get the x of k 
right that means you may use the df as a discrete fourier series tool also here then find the ck then multiply that one with the n then you can get the right x of k value which is the dft of x of n so this is the conclusion here okay thank you